Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures. In this video, we're going to be checking out Norco, which is honestly one of the most beautiful looking point and click adventure games I think I have ever seen. Um, this was tagged to me, well, mentioned to me by um, Clay or Terminally Nerdy as he's known on here. And the screenshots that I've seen of this look just incredible. They, they are mind-blowingly good. The pixel art is just stunning. So let's jump over a new game. I can't wait to play this and see what it's all about. I've heard very, very good things about it indeed. So here we go. New game. Norco, Louisiana. Shield hid the stars behind halogen and flame projected onto the sky every night. There was no such thing as silence. The noise never went away. The refinery exhaled an endless sigh. Okay, we've got choices already. I could never sleep, it was so loud, or I still can't sleep without that sound. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go with one. So I wonder if the choices affect anything then. In your dreams, the towers were grand cathedrals, places of worship. The swamps hid behind mirrors like spies. Just check this out, this is wonderful. The birds transformed into radiant spheres and traced omens above the highway blight. Very descriptive text as well, I've noticed. Look at this. You spent your adolescence sleepwalking between little devastating rituals. Though Blake pleaded, you decided to leave. I knew he'd get over it. I didn't care. I knew he'd get over it. He never did. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you caught out on a grainer to Chicago and onward to the West Coast. You'd never left Louisiana and thought you'd never return. You thought the ghosts of the lowlands wouldn't find you hiding along the road. Even the soundtrack's great. The years carried you through overlit suburbs of the vast American limbo, across mountains above cell towers. Thumbing down 99, you saw an old man crouched in a roadside ditch. He was mouthing your name. He had a familiar gaze. He was gone when you wiped the sleep from your eyes. You spoke to Blake, learning of your mother's declining health, her insomnia, her erratic behaviour. Do we... No, we can't click anything. You ignored the urgency in your brother's voice. Nice crack on the phone there. <laughs> Little touch, I like it. Ooh, look at this. By and by, you made your way east. You threw your phone in the Rio Grande. You joined the armies of the Mesa. For months... You were in the company of fugitives. You slept in nuclear tunnels, repairing engines and weaponry. Oh, it's very, very atmospheric already, just from the text. Oh, 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 look at this. The war was a meme that set Albuquerque on fire. You escaped while the foot soldiers of a pop-up uh, junter bloodied the parched land, while hiding in the berth of a freight liner. I prayed, I slept, I forget, I slept. You slept easily as the truck shuttled through the plains. You called home from a landline in a motel somewhere beyond Texas. You knew by the tenor of Blake's hello that your mother was already dead. You hung up, shouldered your bag, returned to the highway. Five years had passed. The ghosts were calling you back home. Ah, so it looks like we're going back then. Act 1. Lowland Ghosts. Wow, that was quite some intro, wasn't it? Really set the scene for the game. And here we go. You awake from a delirious dream to find yourself in your childhood bedroom. Home added to map. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Okay, so we've got the map here. Is that... Uh... Wow, look at this. Uh, that is <laughs> so beautiful. The colours and everything there is it just wow. Wow. <laughs> My god, this is like I said, look at this. It's brilliant. Front yard. Three times this house is flooded. First floor, the second floor, the third floor. The first flood oh sorry, flood. The first flood is a shadow of a memory. Placing your feet down on drenched carpet. Your mum and grandpa are ripping out sheetrock. Sitting in a small RV in the backyard, setting dolls on a cluttered little table. Right, the second flood. You were 14. I think we might have skipped some stuff in the bedroom. I didn't realise it was going to actually take me out of the house. I thought it was going to let me look at the map, but it's okay. 
The pumping station failed during a heavy rain. You were in class watching the clouds move upriver. You got a text message from your mum. Stay in Destrahan, I'll come get you. For two weeks, you, Blake, and your mum shared a hotel room. She spent all her days gutting the house. In the evenings, you would sometimes help. The third flood. Another pump failure. Your mum hired contractors with the insurance money. She said she was getting too old for it. You were bitter. You blamed her for not selling the house sooner. You stayed with friends in New Orleans. Fourth flood. The fourth flood will follow a slow hurricane and it will be a calamity. It will leave the entire region submerged as critical levees breach. There will be a massive blackout that lasts weeks. Much of the sewerage infrastructure will be damaged beyond repair. The embattled federal government will do nothing to assist. It will bankrupt the region. Small militant enclaves will form along the high ground of the Mississippi River. They will learn the craft of piracy and hijack commercial shipping vessels. Private mercenary forces will retaliate in kind. Slowly, industry will flee from the hot zone. The old river control structure will collapse from neglect and sabotage. The Mississippi River will again change its course. Norco, an old abandoned refinery town on a ghost of a river. Your house will be squatted and then raised. Wow, okay. Jeez, that was... Um... Okay, so yeah, we've done all that. Can we head in? Uh, I'm not sure... It... No, so we can just click on it. We don't seem to be able to go back into the house. What's this? Mind map. This is pretty weird looking. You. Were. Are. Fin Let's let it finish the thought. Oh. Okay. You were. Travelling. Huh. Through the Midwest. The freight cars rattled in the cold dusk as you crouched on the Grainer porch. The cell towers peaked over the flat country translating the notions of the world. The lights of suburban Memphis, the fences, the traffic, the stark shadows under a lavender blanket of clouds. Afraid, tired, silent and alert at each terminal, you watched that night decay for many miles. Then what? You rode in the back of a van wedged between amplifiers from Chicago to Des Moines? I don't know how to pronounce some of these things, sorry. You stole a heater from Walmart and brought it to the poorly attended house show. Des Moines to Kansas City, Kansas City to Denver. Right, okay, let's let's head out of this for now. So this is sort of like a, a recollection of everything we've been through, I'm guessing. What's this? Your grandfather's statue of the Virgin Mary sits in the shadows along the crawl space of the house. What is that? Oh, it's the cat, okay. Can we... Ooh. Okay. So we can do the mind map thing here as well. You observe the weathered concrete and flaking paint of the statue. Inspect further. The face is especially deteriorated, framed by a system of cracks. Okay. You run your hands along the deteriorating contours of the statue. What the hell? It snaps off as if by design. Behind the statue's face hides an odd assemblage of electronics carelessly soldered together. At the centre of the electronic configuration is what appears to be a card reader. What the hell? Why is there a card reader in there? Uh, that is... odd. There's a crawl space there as well. Can we get in there? Let's look at the cat. Your mum fed the neighbourhood strays. They must be hungry since she passed. Right, so our mum's just just died then. Okay, so we, we can't go back into the house, weirdly. The overhead light of the neighbour's kitchen illuminates yellowing wallpaper and unused furniture. Okay. Anything else we can... Right, so we can go... Oh, that's how we go inside then, on the map. Right. Ooh, look at this. Mail. A letter from Shield Oil sits atop a stack of mail. Dear neighbour, please be advised. There will be elevated flaring at the site of our number 5 stack near Good Hope on the evening of Thursday, March 19th. 
This will pose no health risk to residents. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact the SHIELD Norco Office of Community Engagement. Okay, yeah, so that just reads that again. Um, right, a family photo album. Let's have a look. Yellow in pages of disposable photographs. Your grandfather, serious, sober, never happy nor sad. Your mum, staring at Blake through the obscure lighting. He's dressed as a vampire, tugging at someone's waist, pleated khaki shorts. Duck, others you don't recognise. A barbecue on the lake. He's young, late thirties, pointing playfully at the camera. Turn the page, and there's Blue, your father, though you've never thought of him that way. His skin stained by the sun, a canister of dip shoved into his front pocket, his easy smile, his knowing eyes. You set the book aside. Okay. Anything on the TV? An old defective flat screen that your mum never bothered to bring to the curb. Okay, so it's broken. You turn on the television. A chaotic distortion of your mother's memories flash before you. Tune in. Wow! What is this? Ooh, what was that? There was someone down there. Strange. So this is like roads and things. The music suddenly got very eerie as well, I've noticed. We don't seem to be able to click on any of these things. It's pretty cool though, isn't it? Huh. That was weird, to say the least. Let's look at this photograph. A photo of your mum holding Blake as a baby on a beach in Pensacola, Florida. It's winter. You stand beside them, bundled up and laughing as a gust of wind rakes the beach. The sky is bone white. Okay. Window unit. <clears throat> the heat of late spring is a few weeks away and the mildewed air of the window unit will soon fill the room. Okay. Couch. Memories of sleepless twilights, the dull refinery hum in the red halogen half-darkness, your mum sitting here staring through the window. There was a tension in her demeanour on those nights, as if you were interrupting some urgent ob and obligatory task. You'd continue to the kitchen with no words exchanged. But those nights were rare. Many of them you simply don't remember. So it seems like even though we're choosing options, some of them appear to be wrong. Let's go to the kitchen. Pills. Your mum's pain medication is spilled across the kitchen table. Okay. Doesn't look good, does it? What's this? You were always frightened by the laundry room, though you never understood why. Interesting. Microwave. You've discovered so many dead cockroaches in this microwave over the years that it's discouraged you from using it. Yeah, that's gross. For several months, a dead baby roach was stuck between the clock's display and the protective screen blocking the hour. Blake finally shook the microwave aggressively enough that the roach fell into the guts of the machine. Ah, oh, grim. Uh, okay. That looks like all we can really look at in here then. Can't click on the lights or anything. Let's go back to the bedroom then, because I feel like we should probably check... Oh, there's an attic. Please don't be like a jump scare or something. What we got in here? Uh, boxes. There used to be much more clutter up here. You imagine your mum gave it away as the end approached. Okay. Right, so that's... Huh. So the attic hasn't really got anything in it. Let's go to our bedroom then, if we can. We'll have a look around in here. What's this? A flyer from a show your friend put on a few weeks before you left town. A fight broke out while one of the opening bands played. I got whipped in the face of the bike chain. You still have a scar above your left eye. After the show, you and Blake shot fireworks from the roof of a hotel on Poydras Street. Sleepless and sober, the two of you walked back to, Nar to Norco. You watched the sun climb over the grain elevators. Plants. You assume Million, not Blake, 
has been keeping your mum's plants alive. Okay. Ah, that's how you leave the room, I see. What's this? Cool January air drafts through the open window. The low sun washes the neighbourhood in deep yellow ochre. A small flock of blackbirds dissolves into the obscure tree line towards the lake. Commuter traffic glints along Apple Street as a pair of wrens weave out of the overgrown lot next door. We can use the laptop. The laptop your Perrain gifted you idols on a shoddy particle board desk. Let's wake the laptop. As the screen illuminates, you notice that the signal in the house is dead. No internet. It looks like Blake was using the computer at some point. He left the browser tab open. Let's view it. Ooh, what's all this? <clears throat> Get... Oh, ooh, wow. Okay, there's lots, lots of things here. So it's like a... It's like a forum. It's weird stuff in the swamps. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Not sure how that plays into a monkey. Monkey. Your stuffed monkey, a long-time best friend, slouches on the desk. Your grandfather gave you monkey when you were three years old. You conversed with him often. As you grew older, he became a reflection of your neurosis and guilt. He chastised you for becoming distant, for not showing him enough attention. Apologise to Monkey for leaving him behind, maybe? Five years, that's a long time, Kay. But your apology has remedied him of his worst fear, that you wouldn't speak to him at all. His hostile expression melts from his face. Your conscience compels you to take the doll along. Let's do that. Monkey joins the party! <laughs> okay, we have a party now, that's interesting. Monkey stares at you. You stare at Monkey. He stares with more intensity until his gaze passes through you. You become invisible to him. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Fair enough. Oh. I see. That's how you... Yes, yeah, so you can put a CRT filter on it as well, which is pretty cool. Um, right, so let's head back outside then, I guess. To the front yard. Uh, so we can go to the cruel space or the like, backyard or the street. Let's go to the cruel space, I guess. Oh, that's the cruel space. Okay. Let's go to the backyard then. Wow, look at this. This is so cool. Refinery. The towers of the refinery wink in a subtle and familiar rhythm. This landscape was the jungle gym of your youth. You snuck through culverts and broken fences to explore the boulevards of machines that hid beyond. You could feel the heat of the flare stacks raging 70 feet above you as you darted between monoliths. You discovered entire graveyards within the borders of the facility, a lasting reminder of the communities that once existed there. There were less drones guarding the perimeter in those days. Were you to attempt such trespassing today, it would require more sophistication, or more force. What's that? Crab net. A disintegrating crab net. Blue taught your mum how to make these and your mum taught you. In the summers, you'd bike to the suction before sunrise, tie chicken necks to the bottom ring of your net, submerge it, sit there while nursing your coffee while the swamp raised its voice. You'd come home with a dozen or so crabs snapping and writhing in a burlap bag. You assume your mum hasn't been out on the water much this past year. Okay, and we've got Million here and a motorcycle and a truck. But you know what, guys? I'm going to leave it there for this one because I'd like you guys to go and play this for yourself because I've heard this really, really gets more in depth and there's way more locations and things like that that you can visit. I'm going to do that off camera because, like I said, I want you guys to play it for yourself. But so far, I'm so impressed with this. It's so immersive and the, the pixel art is just wonderful. I just love it. It's just stunning to look at so as always guys thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games wayne nate and terminally nerdy for all the support i really do appreciate it if you enjoyed the video hit the like button it really helps youtube push this video out to more people who like to watch it and join our little point and click community that we're building here and i'll see you all next time